this project is going to be really fun. This is going to be using the dropper in liquid watercolor, but also you're going to be using Sharpies and masking tape. You're going to want to get some watercolor paper that is very absorbent, so actually try to find some watercolor paper. Um, we're, today we're using this uh, medium watercolor paper from Michaels. So we're gonna take one out. And remember to use the side that is, uh, that has the, the texture to it. So there's a smooth side and there's texture side. The first thing you're going to do is write your name on the back, small and in the corner, or actually, sorry, you're gonna write it on the texture side in the front, small and in the corner with a, a Sharpie. So it's like signing your name. So you're gonna do that first. Okay. Then you can use a pencil if you'd like, but to save time, I'm gonna use a Sharpie. And you're gonna draw an umbrella. If you would like a, <coughs> a teacher to help you, I'll have some umbrellas that you can trace, but that's the only part that we're gonna help you with. So you're just gonna draw an umbrella with a sharp with a pencil or a sharpie, and you color it in with sharpie. Okay, then you're gonna draw a line, and you're gonna color it in. And remember, you're doing this on the textured side. And make sure you color it all in completely. No little pieces of white or even light pieces. So if you have a Sharpie that is not working, get a new one, because you're gonna definitely need it. Then you're gonna draw the silhouette of a person. and you're gonna put them under the umbrella. So I'm gonna draw some hair. Holding the umbrella. And color it in some more. Okay. And then and an arm and another arm and just color it in because you really do you're just doing the outline and the shoulder okay you could do a stick person if you'd like draw a bow on the top. Okay, maybe boys you want to do a baseball cap on the person or um, maybe you want to do like a like a cool hairdo. Um, whatever you want to do, however you want it to look. Uh, you can wear pants, shorts, uh, like I said it could be a stick person. And then some legs. So this person is standing in the rain. Um, maybe you want to do your person walking. All right, so there is my person. 
all done with that. And you, then you're going to take this, this, some masking tape. This is actually painter's tape, so it will work really well. And you're going to cover your person. And if you want to draw the ground, you can a little bit. Um, I would definitely suggest maybe doing like some ground. Okay. Draw a horizon line if you'd like. If you want something in the background, you don't have to. Then you're going to cover your person from the umbrella to the bottom of the person's feet. Okay. Okay, and you can use some scissors. I just forgot mine. I'm going to make sure that there's no white up here. Cover that, get another piece. It's okay to kind of piece it together too. But you wanna make sure you're from the edge of the umbrella because what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna make it rain on this, on this person. Okay, oops, I see this one little tiny piece. I do need to make sure that that's covered. You don't want to, you don't need to cover the top of the umbrella. And you make sure that you put it all, push this down really, really well. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to get some paper towels. Um, one of the reasons we're using this because this paper is because it is very absorbent, but it's also very thick because you're gonna use both hands to do this. Now, you can use more than one color of watercolor, but, um, for this demonstration, I'm just gonna use one. So you might wanna make rainbow rain, you might wanna make just blues and greens, or maybe you wanna do purples, or you wanna do whatever color you want, okay? And you're, so I've got kind of a teal green here for this for this rain, they add a green to it. Um, and you're gonna hold your painting like this. You're gonna get some on your hand, that's okay. And you need to get some paper towels to put underneath. Got a little too many here. Just get a couple, a couple paper towels. Put underneath. You need to make sure that you have enough to catch all of the moisture because you don't want to get it all over the table. And it's a good idea to cover the table too. So, whichever hand you want to use for the dropper, you put that on on the side of your your whatever hand you use. If you're right-handed, you put it on your right side. And then with your opposite hand, you're gonna hold the paper up, vertical. And it doesn't have to be straight up and down, it can be slanted a little bit. You wanna make sure that it's on the paper towel, okay? So then you're going to take the dropper, just like we, you're going to squeeze the, the top, put it in the water, and then suck up some watercolor. You're going to start right at the top, top and let it rain. And you can put a tray underneath this also to help you catch the liquid watercolor. And that's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna keep letting it rain. You wanna make sure that it is raining from the very top. And you just keep doing that. And you can change colors, or you can use, just use one. And that is what we do. Then you're just gonna let it dry, and then as soon as it's dry, you will take the tape off. So just keep doing that. All right, 
once your painting is all dry, you want to make sure that it is, you're going to take your masking tape off. And you want to be very careful. So you're just going to start peeling it off. Oh, darn it. This tape did not work well. Well, well, this tape didn't work very well because it was painter's tape instead of masking tape. So make sure that when you would do yours, it'll be, you'll use masking tape, all right? And you want to make sure, because you want this, this, this white area. So it will turn out really cool if you do that. Okay, so that's the project for today.